At least 400 Cubans took to the streets, demanding the restoration of electricity for testing more than two days after a blackout hit the entire island following the passage of Hurricane Ian. The two of the protesters were still in the streets late into the night, but the gatherings remained peaceful. It was the first public outpouring of anger after electricity problems spread from western Cuba. Ian hit Tuesday night and knocked out all of the island's power grid, leaving its 11 million people in the dark. Electricity returned in some parts of Cuba on Wednesday, while it came on then shut off again in other parts. At least nine people were reportedly injured in a strike in southern Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv in the early hours of Friday. The report was announced by the deputy head of Ukraine's presidential office, Kirill Timoshenko, on the same day. Timoshenko reported that S-300 type rockets hit a 10-story apartment building, which destroyed its upper floors. Meanwhile, the governor of Mykolaiv region, Vitali Kim posted a video on his social media page showing several cars on fire. Meanwhile, at least 23 people were killed and 28 others were wounded following a Russian missile strike on the city of Zaporizhia, Ukraine. Zaporizhia regional governor Alexander Staruk said that Russian forces targeted a humanitarian convoy heading to Russian-occupied territory. Meanwhile, Deputy Head of the Ukrainian President's Office, Kirill Timoshenko, explained that four of 16 S-300 missiles that Russia launched struck a car market as well as an area where civilians had gathered to head into Russian-occupied territory to pick up relatives. However, Russia did not immediately acknowledge the strike that comes as Moscow prepares to annex four regions into Russia following an internationally condemned Kremlin-orchestrated vote. 